Do you really need motivation to be successful? Awaken the leader inside. Follow the path of leadership. Never give up. Never stop trying. Get up. Believe in yourself. Not every day is going to be easy, but you've got to challenge yourself. You need courage. Be ready. Stop waiting for it to happen. Go make it happen. Harness the power within. You were destined to be a leader. Follow the path of leadership. Awaken the leader inside. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Dave Rubalcava. I'm your host here at Awaken the Leader Inside, a show dedicated to your leadership journey. Remember, you are never alone. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, if you can't, if you can't tell, I have a little bit of a cold. You know, I was sick about a week ago, and now like I am sick all over again. And you know, so it's been kind of miserable the last 24 hours. But it is what it is. The show must go on, right? So I apologize. Uh, ahead of time if I sound horrible or, you know, I have to blow my nose or something like that. I'll try not to. But, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Like many of you know, I, I like to reflect on a daily basis. And, you know, I was thinking about something and I was thinking I was watching a couple of videos on YouTube. And so, you know, that's always kind of like stirs the pot and makes me think about things, which I encourage you guys to do as well or read books or whatever. But I was really thinking about motivation and I and this is what here's the question that I'll ask you guys do you really need motivation to be successful and I you know you're going to hear a wide range of you know different perspectives and different philosophies around motivation but I'm going to share what how I feel about it maybe you guys agree maybe you guys disagree but I want you to know something uh, about success and what I've learned to understand what where success comes from. And and I'll be blatantly transparent with you. I'm not always sure if it's motivation, you know, it's not not that it's not important because I do believe it's motivation is like the spark. You know, if you ever watched uh you know old cartoons when they light that TNT in the the spark, you know, it's following the trail to like the explosive. Like to me that's that's how I see motivation. But it's really not the charge that's going to explode you into something. It's kind of like the just the spark that gets it going. And is it needed? Absolutely. Do you, do you need it when you hit walls? Hell yeah, you do. But is it going to be the thing that makes you successful? And I would have to honestly say no. Because what I think is more important than, you know, motivation can last a day, can last a week, and can last a month, but it never lasts forever. It's not indefinite. But something that is could catastrophically, uh, not catastrophically, can catapult your success quickly. And it's one simple thing. It's discipline. And having the discipline Day in and day out when you don't want to. And for many of you that are out there that that are health junkies or just, you know, that that are consistently out in the gyms, you know what this means. Like you go to the gym when you don't want to. You go to the gym because for whatever reason, that's that's either to let off steam or that you committed to doing this for a certain amount of time or maybe indefinitely you commit it because you're going to get results based on that commitment. That is discipline. And I think we lose we lose that sometimes because we're looking for a quick fix. And I think as I've you know grown as a leader over the last 18, you know, 18 years, I too was looking for the shortcut. I too was looking for the magic serum that's gonna make me go from a crappy leader to that guy. And I always refer to that guy as like that guy that I see as successful or that gal that I see successful that I wanted to be and I didn't understand what it took to get there. And I think that's where a lot of the frustration and failures kind of came into play because I just didn't have the discipline, one, to come up with a game plan and stick to it, two, get feedback that that hurts. It's going to hurt. They're going to tell you that you stink at things. That's just the way it is as a leader. And and three, to like make a change and and to consistently do that takes takes discipline. And so, but I will say with motivation, motivation is needed 
in those tough moments. Now, where where motivation comes from, that's that's different for everybody. Some people can watch a, a you know Tony Robbins or something that day, and boom, they're back on track and they're fighting and they're duking it out and they're charging their way towards their next goal. Some people can read a book about about leadership. Some people can listen to a podcast. Some people can watch videos on YouTube. It it still has value. It's still important, but it's not going to be the thing that I that I believe that is going to carry you long term. It's that spark, that spark that's going to ignite that fire in you to go out and fight. So I I really I I didn't I think maybe originally I set out to motivate people, but I realized it's not about motivation. It's about teaching my leaders how to have discipline in those tough moments where you're going to have to truly, truly exercise your leadership when you don't want to, when you don't feel like you're up to that challenge or you're up to to speed at the moment. That's where real leadership kicks in. That's where the real you know, challenge for you to fight and make a difference. And if I had to really kind of gauge or give you an explanation of how I see leadership development, it always comes from the moments that you do something you never thought you can do. And I will I will be the first to admit, those are like the scariest moments. And, you know, I was kind of lucky in early in my career that a lot of those challenges were thrust upon me. So I felt like I didn't have a choice, but I had an obligation to do that. But later on in my career, I recognized that now I had the choice to step forward, that I was, wasn't going to wait until someone said, hey, David, we need you to you know, do this uh, speech in front of whatever. We need for you to talk about you know, this objective that we're doing with all of your peers and da-da-da-da. It was like, I'll do it. And, it was, and that was for me. Like I recognize that if my goal is to grow rapidly, that I am going to have to do something that I feel uncomfortable with. And there's so many things on a leadership level. Some of them are on a technical level. Some of them are with, uh, you know, technology and stuff that I didn't feel comfortable with, whatever. Making the choice to step forward is what's going to help you grow. It's not even about the outcome. You can fail or you could have been successful. The The objective that you learn from taking risk and doing things you're uncomfortable with, that is leadership. Because, and I'm going to tell you why, and I've probably said this, I don't know how many times out of all of these episodes, you only grow when you do something that you're unfamiliar with, that you're uncomfortable with, And then when you look back, you're like, damn, I did that. Confidence. That is where success comes from, is the confident ability to overcome any obstacle, any obstacle that's put in your way. That is how leaders become successful, is they're not afraid to shy away from risk. They're not afraid to take on a challenge that they feel they will probably fail at. They'll tell you that, like they took a risk and and what you learn through that through that ring of fire that is where leadership grows that's where the seeds for your success are planted it's not where the grass is green and things are easy whatever man don't fool yourself because when the hardships come you're going to feel like a failure and you're going to feel like what happened you're going to feel like 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 life slapped you really hard because it's an illusion you are going to grow when you are in the ring of fire that is where you're going to fight for your for your career. That's where you're going to fight for your leadership and fight to change your path. It's in the ring of fire. So the the quicker that you accept that, you will find success. You will find you will grow exponentially in one year versus the last four years because you took more risk. And you know what's associated with those risks, which I never realized this until maybe a couple years ago, maybe just maybe three, four years ago is that with those risks, so many doors open up. And I'll give you a quick example, right? I had always wanted to be, you know, more exposure and be able to talk about leadership and things on a higher level while I was in a corporate setting, right? And I was asked, we want you to do this presentation. It was something boring, man. It was like something really boring. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take that. I'll I'll do it. I I decided I was going to do it. 
But what I decided to do was to do it in a different way. I could have just read some boring ass like presentation on PowerPoint. I could have done that. Anybody could have done that. But instead, I used like videos of motivation stitched into it. And I used different things to help motivate and to, to kind of paint a picture for my peers versus telling them, hey, we're going to have to be uh, more flexible. I used a video of of a dad uh, running out and I can't remember it. Maybe I'll, I'll put it in the, in the, in the notes running out to help his son cross the line in a, in a race. He was running and he cramped up and he was like ready to give up. And his dad charged out of the stadium to grab him so that he could cross the finish line. And I use that to paint a picture of sometimes we're all going to need help. Right. And so where I'm going with that is that after that, after that, I mean, it was a great presentation. At least I felt like it was. I got a lot of great feedback. But then from that point on, I was asked to do more. I was asked to spearhead things. I was asked to, because the perception became that I was a great at communicating and, and getting people's commitment. But that's the vehicle that I used. And so when I was given an opportunity, I, I went full throttle, man. And then that spawned into all of these other things. Believe it or not, down the road, that spawned into this podcast. So those risks will have a huge impact in your career at some point. And you're going you're gonna to rely on those at like when those moments when I'm afraid, you're going to remember, well, I was afraid when I did that and I crushed it. So that's where confidence is born. And so I want you guys to remember that, okay? And, and I want you to think about, do you really need motivation? Yes. Is it necessary all the time? Nah. What you need is that willpower to fight and change your career. That's what you need. That is what you need. So I hope this helps you guys. Stay, stay in tune, man. Stay in tune with that feeling inside, man. Stay in tune with your leadership and do whatever it takes to get yourself in the next position or the next situation where you can help others and share your leadership. So I hope this helps you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. I appreciate you guys. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate you know, your feedback and you listening to this episode. And I apologize for my cold. I can hear it. I sound you know, nasally, but, but I appreciate it. So always remember to awaken the leader inside. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell on the top, right? Now it's time to get to work and let's make it happen.